Hi, my name is Matt Shearer. I'm known as the LinkedIn Lighthouse Keeper. And I've been working with a lot of military professionals in transition. And yesterday I did a two-hour class. And one of the things that I've noticed, and the reason why I'm doing this short video today, is to talk about the art of virtual networking. I believe that even in these troubled times, that people can build a strong network. And for you, the military professional in transition, or anybody who's in transition, this is your opportunity to use LinkedIn as a virtual networking platform. Before March 2020, there were lots of opportunities for military professionals and anyone who wants to build a network and one of the ways I see a lot of people being very successful before COVID-19 was the traditional coffee break or lunch break or other events like this where you get to talk to people that you've never met before. Then COVID-19 hit. And all those business opportunities, those conferences, those workshops, those meetings, those business lessons, suddenly they weren't available for all of us to build and add people to our professional network. Today, the successful entrepreneur is someone who's mastered the art of virtual networking. They know that whenever they get a chance to reach out to others in online webinars and conferences, that's a good opportunity for them to connect with people and to add them as a quality connection. I believe that LinkedIn is the virtual networking opportunity that is available for all of us. And the beautiful thing about LinkedIn is that it allows you to build a network person by person in other ways that you would not find in traditional networking opportunities. So let me just show you one simple tactic that you might consider as you try to build your virtual network. So this morning, I saw this post from one of my connections. Kevin Cullen shared this excellent post by Lori Perry about dogs and canines. And I'm a dog lover. I like to know more about how dogs can help people, especially those with post-traumatic stress disorder. So it caused me to stop and it caused me to want to connect or know more about Lori Perry. So this is what I did. I took a couple minutes to look at Lori's LinkedIn profile to see what she, her mission was, what she is trying to tell people about how she helps military professionals and others who have post-traumatic stress, and that caused me to want to connect with her. So as you can see here, I hit the connect button to reach out to her. So when I hit that connect button to Laura, then I get this, your invitation is almost on its way. But note that you can also add a note. It is important that you do so. So when I hit that connect button to Laura, then I get this, your invitation is almost on its way. But note that you can also add a note. It is important that you do so. So what happens when you send someone a connection request? How does it look in their inbox for their connections. This is an example of three recent connection requests that I've gotten from others. This first one kind of gets my attention. Here's someone that sent me a connection request without the message, but I know that he knows a few people that I would have a lot of respect for. And then last, this is a direct connection, but I'm not a real estate professional. That's why it's important to tie it back your, that's why it's important to tie back the information you've seen about that person in your connection request. So what happens when you get a LinkedIn connection in your inbox? I hope you're looking at the three that I just got this morning, and I think you're gonna see that two of them actually tried to provide me a basis or a purpose for connecting with me. But let's just be real critical about that first 
five or six words that each of those two people have sent me. So the first one from Team RxC results extreme. Well, it got my attention, but it's not really a person, and I like to connect with people. The second one didn't send me a connection note, but I know who he is, and I know that he's connected with 63 of my connections. And the last person, well, it's a very direct connection request, but unfortunately, I am not a real estate professional. I hope this video has shown you how to capture and add quality people to your network. Yes, we're in times of COVID-19. Yes, things are difficult, but a little persistence and a belief in oneself that you can connect with people by taking the time to tie back uh, their information in your connection request, well, that's only going to do one thing, and that's going to build quality connections. If you'd like to connect with me, my LinkedIn connection information is here. I hope you'll send me a quality connection note.